What is up, YouTube? It's your boy Candy. I am back here with another video. Now, listen, I haven't uploaded the video in a few days. I'm sorry, my bad. Uh, uh, you can hit me one time. No, you can't hit me, okay? I'm gonna fight back. Now, listen, we got GTA 6 drama. But before we get into the drama, let's get right into it. GTA 6, you ready? GTA 6 is in the last stretch of development. <laughs> Clap it up. So, most likely, 80, 90% sure. That we're gonna get GTA 6 in 2025, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, it's gonna be the biggest release, the biggest gaming release of all time. Hey, you never know, it might break numbers for just the, the, the biggest entertainment release of all time. I wouldn't be surprised if it, if it beat that. So, uh, again, let's clap it up. And now our claps are gonna disappear, you know, because that drama is here. I didn't, you know, I didn't mean, I didn't even mean to rhyme right there, but you know, I mean, I. I I guess I'm just a natural at rhyming, and it is what it is. Listen, the GTA 6 drama, there's two sides to the drama. I'm going to present both sides. Let's start off with Rockstar. Now, Rockstar, coming off the, you know, the, 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 the last stretch of development, Rockstar's like, wait a minute, we're the last stretch. This is the last part. This, this is the finale. We got to go all in. It's crunch time, you know? Like, we listen, all of us champions, me and you, we know how it is. We know what crush time is. We, we gotta we gotta clutch it up. We, we gotta we, we gotta go all in. We gotta deep dive in it. We can't just sit here and just and just just go 1.5 work rate. No, we gotta times 10 it. We gotta like what, what Goku say? Uh, Kaioken times 10. Like we gotta times 10 it. You know we just it's crunch time, right? We're in the last stretch of development for the biggest game ever. So the boss, and, and I'm getting all this information from a close source to, uh, for Rockstar, by the way. So. Don't blame me if, 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 if the story's wrong. I'm just reporting it. I'm just Lois Lane. Okay, I'm just Jimmy Olsen. I'm just reporting it. Now listen, we're in the last stretch of GTA 6, right? The boss is like, listen, the boss is like, hold up. You hear what I'm saying, right? The boss is like, hey, to all the employees, um, we're in the last stretch. I'm gonna need for you guys to come to the office. Yeah. Yeah, that means you can't work on this at, at the house. We got we got to clock in. We got you got to come to the office. Now, on a, a lot of the employees, they're like, "Wait a minute, boss! Wait, wait, we gotta we gotta go where? You you said a what now? Oh, you, we gotta go to the office? Oh no, I don't like that." So all of a sudden, a lot of the employees over at Rockstar, the people that are working on the game, they're like, "Oh, I don't I don't like that. <laughs> what are we talking? <laughs> See, I don't like that. I I don't want to go to the office." Some of the employees. Like, no funny stuff. Some of the employees don't like that, which is, I mean, I guess from their point of view, which is okay. Like, you know, I have nothing, really nothing to say about that. Like, you know, some of the employees, they just don't like that. Now, you have the other side. The other side is the fan base, the Rockstar fan base, the GTA fan, whatever you're going to, bro, the video game industry, bro, the, the other side is the other side. It, it's everything else. This side is Rockstar. This side is everything else. The fans, whatever. You have the fans that are saying, wait a minute, hold up. <laughs> wait a minute, you don't want to clock in? You telling me the boss called you up, clock in, to get you paid and you don't want to clock in? I'm Now listen, I'm not saying this. This is what everybody else is saying. Legit, if you go to like Twitter and you see all the replies, the replies are like, wait a minute, so the boss, the boss called you up and you don't want to clock in? Let's not forget the video game is in this the, the video game industry is in disarray right now with the employees we have we, we have so many layoffs right now it's ridiculous which is true a lot of people on this side has mentioned the layoffs in the video game industry let's be real bro if y'all thought 2022 2023 uh video game industry layoffs was crazy bro we're three months in 2024 and the layoffs are absolutely ridiculous they're absolutely crazy. The, bro, the layoffs, the, brother, it's it's unfat, bro. Oh, my God. You look at that percentage of, of people that are getting laid off in the video game industry, bro. I think nothing can stop me. I'm all the way. Yeah, they're all the way up. The, the Bro, those the, bro, those unemployment rates for the video game industry, bro, are going all the way up. For real. People are getting laid off day by day by day, bro. And at the end of the day, we can all make jokes about it. Like I, try, I could try to be funny, like and, and deliver it in a funny way. But in reality, it's really sad, you know, because these are people's lives. 
these are people like you know people got to pay bills and stuff like that you know and so they got to hope and pray that they can try to get into like another uh, video game industry or whatever or sorry not uh, sorry not, not another video game industry in like another video game company but like it, that's honestly sad but at the end of the day this is what this side is saying the fans whatever they're saying bro why are you guys complaining you still have a job which in reality they're not wrong now i'm not on either side I, i'm the guy you know if there's a fight i'm 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 looking at both of the fighters like this i'm a spectator i don't i don't have sides right i wish that everybody can get along but that's just me i'm just the guy in the middle just watching now listen both sides have some understandable points but i'm gonna be honest the fans and everybody else on this side they made a lot of good points they're saying hey at least you guys still have a job why are you guys complaining a lot of people have been laid off you know and this is the final stretch see that's the thing that gets me it is the final stretch it's the final stretch of the game right it's the final we're in like the final stages of, of development and so for a lot of you guys to like a lot of you guys over at rockstar now i don't know if this is all true or not i'm just going off of the sources that are coming out with with these claims if that is true then i understand the the anger coming from this side now you know obviously you know this is twitter so they said they say the most obnoxious stuff about these people's family whatever and i understand that if you want to ignore it cool but at the end of the day some of the points as in oh you still have a job you know it's in a final development so why wouldn't you be in the office working on it they have a point on that i do i i would admit they do have a point on that you know because at the end of the day you can sit there and you can complain now listen let's not forget these people that work at rockstar they got lives too they got families too they have lives too we can't really we can't just just you know pick these people up and throw them in the office and say work 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 because guess what some of these people they got family you never know uh if, if one of if some of their family members are sick or one of them is having a baby whatever you don't know or if some of them is new to uh to fatherhood or, or motherhood or whatever you don't you simply just don't know so literally again like i said there's two sides to a story let me know what side are you guys on or you guys just a spectator just like me because i'm just in the middle bro there's two sides both of these sides make really good points you know i can see how some people are mad from the rockstar uh i can see how some of the rockstar employees are, are mad about having to come to the office and do all that but in reality though you are you are working on the biggest video game ever this is the biggest video game this is this will change the video game industry if everything goes right this is the biggest video game this is the most anticipated game ever ever when this, the day that this game release is going to be like the super bowl of the video game industry i'm not even kidding because if you thought gta 5 was something gta 5 that release oh my god that release put the world in a chokehold bro even the news bro the news was like wait a minute this 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 uh what they say i remember i think gta 5 was on the news they were saying that oh gta 5 um this video game is the biggest uh form of entertainment they could to, to get a billion dollars in, in in a few days or whatever but they was going crazy everybody bro when gta 5 dropped in 2013 bro bro oh my goodness that thing was amazing but other than that man comment down below what side are you guys on see you guys later for the next time i'm out and peace